Hey Riley, what is this? So this is our video switcher. This is controlling what cameras are going up on the online service and what cameras are going up on the LED walls in the worship center. Uh, so all this is doing is just controlling what's happening with the cameras. So here you have your eight cameras, our main eight here. So one through eight from left to right. You, you have the black, which is literally a black screen. And then over here you have different slide inputs, different MEs, mix effects. And the switcher surface is a four ME surface, so meaning we only use two at a time. Obviously, you can only use one or two at a time. And so we have one, two, three, and four. And right now we have ME1 down here on this first row, which controls all of this, and then ME2 is up here. And so whenever we're cutting cameras and sending certain camera signals to the LED wall and online, we're using this cut button here. We usually we refrain from doing the auto button and just use this T-bar here to dissolve. So I'm going to pull the key so we can see an example. So I pulled a key. I have camera one in preview, which means that you're up next. Preview means that you're going to be coming up soon. And then I'm going to hit the cut button here. And this is going to send your camera to ME1, which means you're being put live. And so as I hit cut, you're now up on the screen here. And then as I hit camera two, this is in preview now. So as I hit the cut button again, Camera two is now live, camera one's back in preview. And so those go back and forth. Whatever you last had live is going to go to preview by default until you change it until something else to go to preview, like so. So as I go through the different eight cameras, you can see all eight cameras are going up onto the screens. Obviously, six and seven are, five, six, and seven are not on, so they're just black screens. But on a normal Sunday morning, they'd have image on them. Uh, specific for what we're looking for from those cameras. And that's all we're pretty much doing here, putting the key back in here. To explain the key real quick, just to explain it. Uh, this is being fed by our CG1 computer, which is to the right of the switcher surface. This is all the full screen graphics, lower third graphics, to include lyric slides, uh, message slides, uh, pretty much anything we want shown on the LED wall, letter slides, is being fed by that computer and is being controlled by downstream key one, which we have active here. And to pull it, you're just hitting the auto button. We never hit cut when disabling that. It's always auto. And so this is just controlling essentially what is happening on the LED walls and the online services. Okay, I have a couple questions. What does it mean to dissolve? So dissolving is just fading in between two uh, sources. So if I preview camera two, I'm gonna cut to this one real quick for show of example. I hit the auto button. So right now, camera two is in pre is live. Camera three is in preview. I'm just going to use this T bar. If you watch the screen here, I'm going to slowly dissolve in between them. So dissolving is a smoother transition that you have control over how fast it goes, as opposed to the cut, which is a hard cut, just like that. Okay, and why don't you use the auto button? The auto button is set to a specific speed that is adjustable. However, when I'm cutting, whenever I'm directing on a Sunday morning, I like to have control over how fast I'm going with my dissolves. And by using the T-bar, I can accurately control that speed. I can go as slow as I want. I can go as fast as I want. And having the auto is just a set speed that would be very specific. And sometimes specific is not what we need. Sometimes it's a little more gray area. Awesome. So all that you're doing to put a camera live is pressing down here and then hitting cut. Yep. And that's going to take the camera from down here and put it into the program, exactly. right? Exactly. Can yep. you press the top buttons, the program buttons? Are you able to? You can. So if you watch here on the ME1 screen, as I tap on the top row, they are being put live. We usually don't do that. There have been some instances where we, uh, for special songs, like if, say, for, for example, we're cutting to the beat of a song and we want to do something special, we want to cut to a different camera per beat of the song and it's fast, we would do that. There, I can think of a couple different songs where we've done this. However, few and far between do we do this anymore. Uh, it's just risky. By not previewing the shot before you take it, you're potentially taking a shot that is not ready to be live. It could be shaky or not framed correctly or out of focus or whatever. Uh, 
by previewing it, you're giving yourself, the director, a chance to see the shot and make sure that it's good to go before you display it for the audience. That's awesome. What would your number one tip to new directors be? Don't be afraid to direct, meaning give notes to cameras, uh, to camera operators. Be sure to explain what you're looking for and when, and be sure to try and give as much notice as possible to, to the camera operators to give them time to prep the shot that you're looking for. And that way, just establish that communication and make that teamwork as good as it can be. And what would you say to a camera operator as a director? I would say, ask questions. If you're unsure of something, never hesitate to ask. It's always better to ask and clarify. So for example, if you're unsure of like a certain movement you're wanting to try out, or you're just looking for something new to do, like ask the director, ask uh, production staff, say, hey, uh, I'm looking to just improve my, like I'm trying to hone my skill on the camera. How, like, can you help me do this? Or just give me an example of what I can be doing. Awesome. Thanks, Riley.